first I want to introduce the band, again, uh, collectively known as the Fiendish Phantoms. We have Oliver, the caretaker, Collins on guitar. Hello out there, everyone. All right. That was Oliver uh, on lead guitar. Uh, Dr. Deacon Bell on bass. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And then we have uh, Beefy, the butcher, on drums. Hello. Ooh, I'm getting kind of chills here. And then uh, Night Stalker on vocals. Evening, foolish mortals. Ooh. I, I, I don't know. I'm getting uh, a bit worried here, but uh, it's all good. Uh, so, first of all, and any one of you can uh, kind of speak to this, I want to just in general kind of talk about how the band originated, um, you know, who started it. Was it a collective effort or just one person that had the idea to start a band? I would say um, that uh, me, um, the Night Stalker, and Oliver got together about nine years ago, and um, originally through Facebook, um, I saw him playing some guitar, and I always wanted to sing some tunes, and uh, we just kind of collectively got together and um, started jamming, and then slowly it turned into a friend of ours had a drum set, and or actually his brother's drum set that he stole, um, and uh, he came in and joined us, and then uh, we just kind of formed from there, and then uh, another work friend of mine, uh, we uh, had a previous bassist, and he ended up leaving the group, and uh, he decided to uh, come step in. We thought we'd give him a try, and the rest is kind of history, and from there on, uh, we became the Fiendish Phantoms and uh, are what we are today. All right. And that was uh, the Night Stalker, right? Correct. You are on lead vocals. Uh, any other uh, band members want to chime in on that? Uh, you're, you're Sun Prairie based, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, um, no? Okay. Uh, now, a lot of music genres, you know, you're kind of pigeonholed as, you know, alternative, uh, grunge, you know, all the typical genres. Uh, do you... If you had to describe to somebody your music, what would you call it? I mean, do you have kind of a unique uh, description of your music? I'd say it's uh, horror punk, kind of like uh, Misfits meets... Typo negative. Typo negative. Okay. And I, I'm guessing there aren't a lot of people that, you know, <laughs> you, you consider yourself <laughs> unique in that in right. your sound right, right. and everything i just right. knowing what i know about the band and what i've heard you know right. um uh, it kind of has that gothic sound to me a little bit now i was um uh, night stalker i when i heard your vocals it reminded me a lot of nick cave is he oh, yeah. an inspiration to you i i would i would say that uh like nick cave and a lot of that 80s post-punk era okay. and that early like goth era um i do draw a lot from that and like sisters of mercy nick okay. cave um, Bauhaus house and things like that sure uh any other band members uh influences in your music career i got one thing um back to our genre of music we don't really we've never really tried to purposely go for a certain style um like for myself i am very rooted in like heavy metal but our music just doesn't sound like heavy metal you know there's everybody brings their own style to the band and that's why we kind of sound unique from what i've heard people say we sound different which i think is a good thing definitely any other guys uh influences in your either your you know instrument playing or just music in general well uh, a fairly large influence for myself is the classic heavy metal uh steve harris definitely okay the style of which he plays bass and then funk Weirdly enough, you know, I've always been a big fan of Flea from Red Hot Chili sure. Peppers and, you know, just that, that, you know, slap bass kind of open feeling to it. Okay. So. Beefy? Probably Ramones would be a majority of the my influence. Otherwise, a lot of uh, heavy metal influences as well. All right. Uh, I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll go to one of your songs. I want to, uh, out of this song, talk about uh, the recording process, you know, how long it took you to make this album, um, if there were things that you maybe learned from this process that you'd want to do differently. But uh, if the first song I picked out, again, we are uh, featuring the Fiendish Phantoms. They are a Sun Prairie-based band. 
and uh, they have a forthcoming album, uh, self-titled. And uh, if you can uh, just briefly mention, when is the CD release party? Uh, June twenty third. Okay. Um, or twenty oh, third. Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Apparently we're, we're questioning our own uh, release date. No, June 23rd uh, at the Frequency, um, we'll be hosting a release party for that. So if you hop online, there's lots of information on that. Okay. Um, so it's a couple months out yet. Yep. So, uh, well, first, uh, I want, before we go into the first song, I wanted to just kind of go around and uh, if you can all kind of uh, talk about what, your, you know, what having a debut album you know what that means to you like and having these songs played on the radio you know if that's been something that you've always you know dreamt about or if you can maybe talk to that well when we first got this together <clears throat> it was just kind of a fun thing to do um and we never thought we'd be at where we're where, where we're at now it's almost it's kind of almost overwhelming for me that personally in the band that, you know, these group of fiendish misfits behind me and myself have an album coming out. We're on the radio and people like us. And that's, you know, that is just such a great feeling when I, I know personally when I'm on stage, it's such, it, I can't even explain what it's like. It's just amazing. Very good. I would, I would definitely second, uh, exactly what uh oliver said there um it just it, it, it is kind of one of those things that anyone that's ever been into music and has been into a band um i think enjoys you know when they it's like a stepping stone and like there's certain steps you reach and um i think having an album you know being on the radio things like that are something that everyone would like to achieve and it feels really cool to actually achieve that in in the manner that we've achieved it and uh it, it's, a, it's a cool feeling. Absolutely. Guys, uh, any thoughts on... I, for one, I, Beefy, for one, feel pretty good about this. I never knew how to play, I never knew how to play drums, really, until, I don't know, six years ago, maybe? Nine years ago. Nine years ago? It flies by. Time flies. <laughs> when I first started in here, I never knew how to play drums. I pretty much learned as I progressed with the band. So, I mean, that's, to me, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. Well, I, for one, uh, Dr. Bell, would like to say that this is definitely a change of pace from the norm. This is not what I expected to come of this group. At first, I started off, it was a, a thing to do that was a nice little escape from reality, just something different. I could go in the basement, and we could put something together that was unique and had a good sound to it. Mm -hmm. And it was something, just a creative outlet for us. And as it turned into what it is today, I couldn't be happier. Very good. 